What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining another episode of Cars, Bikes, and Coffee. I'm Kurt. We're talking about the performance modifications we've done to the 280ZX engine block and as well the P79 cylinder head. And we're going to go through the details of what I've done and what we've had done to those to get a little bit more oomph out of the engine. Stay tuned. Alright, the first and obvious is we had the whole block pressure cleaned and baked. So that would bake off all of the, the dirt and grime. Then we've had the pistons bored out to 87 millimeters, which is just one millimeter over. The great thing is, is since the 2.8 liter L28 engine actually is 2.75 liters, this change makes it a 2.82 liter. So it's officially a 2.8 liter engine. At the front and end of the block, we've removed the oil galley plugs, have had them threaded and then plugged and sealed. And what we've done on the inside is we've removed all of the casting flash that is from the sand and smoothed those out and made sure that the sides are smooth. We didn't do the Gliptol painting as we've heard stories of that clogging oil pumps and we don't want that problem happening. All right, taking a look at the head, this is a P79 head from the 1982 280ZX engine that we're working on. And what we've done here is we've port matched all the intake runners. We've removed the valve guide extension from inside the combustion chamber. I'll show that. All right, so you can see a close up of the porting as well. We left that rough at about 120 grit. Remove the valve guides in both the intake and as well from the exhaust and you'll notice that we've polished the exhaust runner as well. And so on the deck of the head we've had the deck shaved two millimeters and so that's going to bring the compression up to 10 to 1 ratio roughly. I will be doing a capacity check on the combustion chambers and making sure they are all equal. As well, what this does is we'll need to shim the cam towers and the valve springs, and I'll have a video coming up on how to do that. And of course, finally, we've gone through and polished each of the combustion chambers. So the how-tos on the cleaning of the block and working on the head, doing the porting and polishing, I use a great resource from King of Motorsports. He covers it excellent, does a really great job, so I'll leave the link below. In regards to the modification of the head by shaving it by two millimeters, there's a great write-up on dotsonzgarage.com. I'll leave that link as well below. I'll also show the detail I go when I build the head, so look for that video in the future. We've got the engine being built coming up, and as well pulling the engine from the 240Z and then pulling the front end suspension and rebuilding that, cleaning it up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep updated on all these crazy things we're doing to this Z. And we'll have also even more stuff coming up in the future on other projects. Thanks for watching.